is Maggie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be doing like a baking kind of show. So I'm just going to bake something out of my mind. I don't even know if it'll turn out. But you know what? Whatever. It's okay. It's okay. Just try your best. Give good effort and maybe it'll taste good. So let's get to it. Okay, sorry if you can't see my face because I really don't care, but I'm just going to show you guys what we're going to do first. So, I'm going to take the flour, and I'm going to, this is a cup, kind of going to be measuring most stuff out of a cup because the other stuff are in the wash. And so, I'm just going to kind of put about a cup of flour in there. And you know what? I don't care about doing dries and like stuff like that because I don't care. I'm going to do a half cup of sugar because I don't even know what it does. It all turns out the same for me. Half cup sugar. Seems about right. Where's my whisk? <sighs> okay, I'm back with a whisk. So I'm just going to mix this all together. I don't know, is this even satisfying? It's probably kind of gross, to be honest. So you're like, oh, what in the world is she making? Because I don't know either. And now I'm going to add some salt. I don't know, maybe less than half a teaspoon. No, about half a teaspoon of salt. No clue what I'm making. But I have an idea, sort of. Do I even have cookie pans right now? I don't even know what half the stuff is in my house. So, half cup, no, half teaspoon of baking powder. Because you know what? That's just how it is. And then we're going to mix that together. Okay, now I have to get a couple other ingredients out, so I'll be back. Okay, sorry, you can kind of hear it in the background, but it's my microwave. So now you put three tablespoons of margarine inside of it. And try to take off the wrappy stuff as best as you can. And then just kind of plop it in there. It's not really going to mix in unless you heat it up. I heated it up, but it still is not really working. But you know, once my other stuff is done, I'll probably mix in better. Don't worry, my hands are washed, so I'm able to touch this. I should probably heat this up better. Okay, I'm going to go do that right now a major dysfunction it leaked everywhere and it kind of melted the Nutella can whoops I guess since you've already seen it I'm just gonna pour it in so ew this kind of looks really gross I always see those bakers in those videos like melt like the ending of the Nutella with milk and then it, like looks good but you know it didn't even melt it kind of melted the container not even the Nutella and I can't even find any of the Nutella in here it's all like gross what the heck? Well, don't use that life hack. It freaking melted the bottle. Or maybe just pay better attention than me. So now I'm going to melt the butter. Okay, well, I have as much of the Nutella in here as possible. Not very much. You can kind of see it. I don't even know. But whatever. Hopefully it'll taste like Nutella. Because I have something else I'm going to put in it also. Here I have the melted butter. Like the actual melted butter now, or margarine, I guess. That's fine. And now I'm going to mix it together. And now I have it all mixed up. It's kind of, oh my gosh, see, it's falling off everywhere. It's kind of stuck to the end. I'll get that off in the end. Or maybe it will come off if I put an egg in it. So, now I'm going to crack my egg. I don't know if this is satisfying or if you can even see it, but... I've always been told to put it in there first. Oh my gosh, I almost fell inside of it. And now I'm going to set it in there. Okay, quick intermission. Okay, so I just had to throw that away. And now I'm going to mix the egg into it. Ooh, fun. Does anybody else, like, eat the batter even though you're not supposed to? Like, the batter is 100% better, in my opinion, than, like, the actual cookie or cake or brownie or whatever. Like, oh my gosh, brownie batter is literally heaven in a jar. Oh, this looks good. It smells like Nutella, so maybe it will taste like it. haven't really tasted it yet, but I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, 
So I have the egg all mixed in and it's coming together better. So now my favorite part is actually vanilla. So I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of vanilla inside of this. Yeah. That's always fun. And mix that in a little bit. So now I like putting a little bit of honey just for extra taste, even though no one can ever notice it. I always do it. It's not even coming out. What the heck? This is, it has a whole bunch in it. I don't just, Okay, well, while I try to get this out, I'm going to pause you. Okay, so I just ended up putting a knife in there and just, like, scooping it out. So, it's on side of the whisk now. Okay, I'm going to throw this away. Because that is all over my hands. Okay, I'm sorry, you cannot even see me for half of this, but you know what? That's okay. I'm just doing this for myself again. Oh, no, of course I'm making for you guys. Um, I'm going to mix this in. It's actually starting to smell good. So now, I have some pure canola oil. And I put a third of a cup in. Perfect. Because this is a half cup right now and it's a third of it. Should be good. And now I'll come back to you when it's all mixed together. Okay, so it's all mixed together and it's looking really good. But just in case, like, it needs a little bit more flavor, I'm going to put about maybe one and a half tablespoons of this in here. Okay, fine. I don't even know what half teaspoon equals tablespoon. So I'm just going to put that much in here. And I'll mix it. Because I tried a little bit of it a little while ago, and it tasted really good. And you could taste the Nutella in it, but it wasn't, like as much as I want it to be, so hopefully this Nest Quick will make the flavor really nice. Okay, and also right now I'm going to preheat my oven to 345. 345. Start. Okay, you guys can hear my dog barking. <gasps> oh my god, my sister's out! Okay, so I sprayed this pan, and now the batter is done, so I'm going to lay them out like on a sheet and you'll see the surprise when it's done. Okay, so these are all on like the trays. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put a marshmallow on each of them. Ooh. The other Definitely recommend making these. These are good. So bye guys.